We have a situation in Baga in Prera where one of the uh, treatment plants, namely the Ayigander, Ay 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 so many plants I can't remember all the names of them, uh, uh, Ayigander, which had uh, arsenic exposure, or arsenic exposure. And what we have done is, we were first informed of the exposure on 9th January, on 9th January, uh, through a letter uh, from the Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia, from the Health Ministry. Uh, pursuant to the letter, we responded uh, with a letter to uh, Lubaga Ayah Perak, with a, among others to suggest to, for them to close, to close the uh, treatment plant. But this was not done because they had other options, they were, they were exploring other options. But when we have, when we got another letter from uh, KKM, from the Health Ministry, saying that arsenic poisoning is still present, uh, and therefore, we have to act uh, uh, instantaneously. So on the meeting on Tuesday, we decided to um, uh, send a letter asking for the Lembaga Ayapera to close, to close the treatment plant immediately. In fact, the decision was already made a few days before that. But because we have to go through a process of uh, consultation with the minister, uh, with the Athan with the, uh, the Kwasa so therefore we had just had to wait for that. Once it was endorsed by the minister and by uh, the Baga Jatan Kwasa Pengurusan, we sent the letter. So on Tuesday, the letter was already sent to Lembaga Ayapera. Now, arsenic poisoning is very serious. It is poisoning. Uh, and the exposure to uh, pregnant women, to children, to young boys and girls is quite serious. So therefore, what we have done is, we have, uh, we have asked the Ministry of Health to send a special team in order to investigate the extent of the problem or if the exposure has created problems for them today. Because this arsenic poisoning is something you don't find today or tomorrow. It will affect you five years from now, three years from now, or two years from now. It's cancerous. It's cancerous. So it is very irresponsible for any water operator after having known that there is cancer exposure, uh, carcinogenic exposure in your water for you to carry on. Totally unacceptable. Well, for him it might not be serious, but for us it's very serious. Yes, mereka terpaksa ikut. They must close. And now, as uh, as uh, a colleague mentioned, we will now look at the law, and our enforcement team is already there. They will now look at the details of it, and we will try to file charges against them if there was a breach, if there was a, uh, what do you call it, uh, oversight on their part.